Um, ultimately, when, when I my first defeat came against Floyd Mayweather, I felt like I'd let everyone down. And, and can you can you see how that little thing in my mind, you know, something wasn't quite there, you know. My mates would go, don't worry about coming down seeing us. We're proud of you. We love you, Rick. We're proud of you. You know, Ricky, you got beat by Mayweather. No, Rick, God blame me. It's Floyd Mayweather. What do you want? But in my mind, my head was falling mm. off, you know, and and that was that was the start of that side of my life. You know, the boxing was was going great, but there was a there was just a little little fellow on my shoulder that was a, that you know I couldn't I couldn't get off. You know, was our loneliness kicked in at times, Ricky? Um, not really. I think I was very very. The family was very very close at the time. We're very very close now. But I mean, there was a period with my family where it went a little bit you know haywire. But um, but no, I. Um, you know, I, I I used to have a, you know good friends that would come round. I had good family that would come round and and see me. And then when I got to, in a relationship, when my kids come along and everything like that, I was with my my ex partner for twelve, thirteen, thirteen years. So uh, no, it wasn't um, it wasn't a loneliness, no. Because I speak to a lot of successful people, and it is a lonely journey to be successful. But you obviously you, it's trying to find the balance. Like, do you think that was a hindrance as well? That. Like, it's not your people pleasing, but to try and fit in with other people so they think you're not better than them instead of just 100% focused on your journey to be the greatest of all time. Yeah, that's what it was. I mean, um, and, you know, it shouldn't, you know, you've got to you got to be really, with your boxing career, you know, you've got to be really, or with any career, you've got to be selfish. And you've got to think, listen, that's my job. I've got a job to do. You know, it doesn't matter. You know I mean? You've got to, you've got to concentrate on your, on your job. And I, I always, I always had one, one. I was always concentrating on my job, but I always had one, you know, one eye on, you know, shut it off. I don't want people thinking this, don't be this, because I'd, I'd sort of like go out into Manchester or into town or wherever we'd we'd go, and you'd hear, you know, people saying, um, you know, and my mates and, and people around you would say him, oh, I've seen him and met him a few times. What a dickhead he is! Oh, what an honourable person he is! Oh, absolutely, you know. And I think to myself, Are these people saying it about me. Do you know what I mean? You know, did they, did they think I'm arrogant? Did they think I'm cocky and like that? So it was like, you know, when I was world champion, never walked to the front of a queue. Never, you know, never. It's just, I was always, I was, you'd, you'd think I was I was shy. I was always life and soul of the party. But, you know, when it come to that, you'd think I was shy. It's because I was paranoid that. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't want the belts if people thought, what's the point of being the best in the world if everyone thinks you're the dickhead? Yeah. And you're walking down the street and everyone's thinking, there's that Ricky out there. That, what life's that? Even mm -hmm. if you've got belts and money and what comes with it. So, and that was a big, big part of mine. Certainly early on, it, there was something still there that, was, that wasn't, that wasn't doing me any favours.